Hi guys, it's Ricky with an another perusing on Ricky Reveals. <laughs> that word is so funny. Perusing. So I got the name George and the number 1034. Somebody could like Ravens, Virgo. Somebody could like Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe, and they could like The Raven. Somebody could be dealing with a Judas. Somebody smokes menthol cigarettes. Somebody's name is Amy. Aries. Aquarius. Somebody's name is Rich. Taurus. Somebody's name is Ivan. Capricorn and Sagittarius. Ursula, Chicago, Indiana. Maine. I know what you did last summer, August, Tito, I always thought I'd see you again, Haley, Florida, somebody likes to travel, that's, that's clear, maybe somebody did something last summer, now they're on the run, Joan, I just heard drugged and raped. I was under a spell. You're the one that I love. Proverbs 27, seven. Pray and meditate. Don't rape. <laughs> Somebody's being blackmailed for having sex with an underage uh, or minor, um, and it's on camera. Drake, I believe the mother did this on purpose, um, little baby, to blackmail this, uh, this guy. I think she uh, talked to her daughter, uh, possibly son, but I think it's, I think it's a female. Um, but I think she, the mother set it up on purpose to frame this guy or blackmail this guy so that he wouldn't leave her and uh, so he would do whatever she wanted him to do. Keep the faith, which is pretty sick considering, I mean, that's your fucking child, you stupid cunt. The bloody, the baby is not yours. I know now you're my twin. Cancer. Darrell. Sam. Saturday and Vermont. Somebody could definitely really be on the run. That's, I'm really getting that strong. <clears throat> the lovers. Uh, card six, make choices from your heart, deeply emotional, 
commitments, the power of love. Change your life. Number 16. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Father God, Yeshua, Holy Spirit, please be with me, my family, um, the people that watch my videos. Please uh, protect all of us from harm and uh, protect anyone that's anyone from doing harm to other people um, in my collective. Please uh, allow whoever is meant to see this video to see it, to embrace it, and take the advice that's given in this video. In Yeshua's wishes and holy name, I ask and pray, amen. The High Priestess, Card 2. Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides val valuable information. Be at peace. Number 11, Strength. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. Oh, uh, okay. Five, divine guidance. The search for the meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. And the sun. Number 19. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiration, inspiring success. For anyone out there going through a hard time, um, believe, trust and believe you're not alone. Um, sending much love to you. Uh, it does get easier. You just got, just don't give up. Pray, you know, talk to God. He loves you. He wants you to know he loves you. Um, and that he's always with you. He never leaves you or forsakes you. And, um, that there is a lesson and a purpose for what you're going through and, it will pass. This too shall pass. Queen of Wands. Romantic, loyal, always busy, creative, do what you love. So, I guess I'm talking to a beautiful, creative woman who knows what uh, she wants and knows how to get it. Um, she's riding pretty high right now. I mean, or about to be with all the other cards that came out in the other deck. Um, she's at a precipice. She's at, um, she's standing at the edge of tomorrow, changing her life. She's got um, pretty good intuition. She knows, um, don't lie to her. She knows when you're lying to her. Um, and she knows when people are bullshitting her and she will move right on. Leave you in the past. Seven of wands. Yeah. Big ego. Try seeing the other side, the other's side, hold your ground and diligent work. So she could see right through your ego and, um, she'll stand her ground and she will be diligent until she achieves her goals. She is not afraid of anyone.
she could make candles, um, or just really be into candles. Um, Ace of Wands, new joy, love, and creativity, new creative projects. Or maybe she's just like um, starting a candle business. Or maybe uh, you are, depending on how this <laughs> resonates. But somebody's full of a lot of passion and adventure and thr uh, um, determination, creativity. Someone's got a spark inside them that is just raging hot. Because every single card so far is wands. Queen of wands, seven of wands, ace of wands, eight of wands. <laughs> every card that's come out so far has been in the suit of wands. Somebody is on fire. <laughs> Sudden love affair, fast and passionate, split second decisions, rapid gains. So maybe someone's uh, lust and desire is on fire for someone and they can't take it anymore and they're going to go to this person and... Be like, I love you. Come here. <laughs> Show me how much you love me. <laughs> I need you, baby. I need you. Give it to me. I want it. And I miss you like the deserts miss the rain. And I need you more than. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell somebody is <laughs> could be an earth sign <laughs> towards the real capricorn um <laughs> three of pinnacles <laughs> they really really uh have a they need to quit playing with their wand because <laughs> they can't decide <laughs> who or what they want um they just want the whole world. Your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn. <laughs> Stay positive. Work through your differences. Good at work. People notice. Seven of Cups. Indulging your fantasies. What did I say? <laughs> examine choices carefully um yeah it, i mean it is completely okay to go out and explore the world and discover yourself discover um the finer things in life but once you've made certain choices you i mean you have to that requires sacrifice you know what i mean like you can't enter into certain things and expect to still be able to do some of the things you were, you did, like, okay, relationships. If you're single and you want to go out there and be a big, fiery, passionate, wand-holding whore, cool. But once you go into a relationship and you tell somebody you love them and you are there for the long haul, then you can only be holding that person's wand. <laughs> uh, or, you know, you're... <laughs> <laughs> so like that requires a sacrifice of letting go of everybody else's wand. Knight of Cups. Loving messages, money, earning, or spending on passions. So I think that's what we're it's what we're getting at. Um someone who um used to be quite the um Philanthropist. <laughs> um, but someone who used to indulge in um, ecstasy and uh, sensual activities has now chosen to be in a relationship and they're realizing that they've got to give all that up or they, or maybe they almost cost themselves a relationship or maybe they have caused themselves a relationship because they wanted to be a player. And now they're realizing that and wishing they would have realized, realized what they had when they had it. New love or deepening of a relationship, new job, spending wisely, novice. So it's the fool. They might 
want to try and message someone because they realize now who that who they were to them and they want to try and get them before they're completely gone um or they just know now that the next time they find someone they can't they can't if they want someone of value they're gonna have to give up their player ways because as long as they're in that player energy all they're gonna find is other players The hair font. Traditional thinking about relationships, traditional ideas, and culture corpora corporations. So maybe this church, uh, maybe this person has gotten um, into the church or into religion or, spiritu or spirituality, um, and they're realizing that they can't be out whoring it up until five o'clock in the morning. Uh, every night of the week, they they got to settle down and they got to take this things things seriously, and it's really changing their whole mindset and um, their behaviors in life. I think someone got could have possibly gotten an STD, and um, it changed their whole out outlook on life. It made them want to settle down, stop living the fast life, you know, take their health, their life seriously, take spirituality or religion seriously. Um, it made them change their whole outlook on life because they realized that it's not a joke, that shit is serious and you can't just lay down with every dog out there because you will get fleas. Four of Wands. And I also think they, they found someone they really care about and want to be with. King of Swords. So it could be a King of Swords and a Queen of Wands. Intellectual man, not romantic. Take charge, leader, direct. Four of Wands. Happy, comfortable, home, contentment, success, harmony, and stability. So, um... Oh, and Knight of Pentacles. St stable, loyal partner, Promotion, financial career. So somebody has definitely found someone that they consider to be marriage material and they want to marry them. And they are changing their ways for them because they realize that if they let this person go, the life they want, there's a good chance they won't ever have it. If they don't change their ways, this person's gonna leave them. Or depending, I mean, depending on how it is, you know, if they've already left or split up, or if um, it's a new thing. But either way, someone is changing their ways because they are like realizing how serious their health and how serious life really is, and that it, they cannot be taking it as such a joke anymore. Um, and they could just be getting older or, but I really do think they either, they let someone walk out of their life that they shouldn't have, or they walked away from somebody that they shouldn't have, or they've just met somebody who they really, really want to, um, eventually marry. And they just, they, they notice their flaws and they notice that they've got to change and make themselves better if they actually want a marriage that works out. The Emperor. Stable, mature love with loyalty, success in business, and, or legal matters. Eight of Pentacles. Dedicated to each other, mature love, getting a raise or respect and gains. So, yeah. This person, I think, maybe um, they also are wanting to become an entre entrepreneur and they... It's so funny to me. The Queen of Cups in this deck. She looks like an old drunk. Um, she looks drunk in the picture. <laughs> but um, 
they realize the direction that they, they want to go in life and they realize the person that they want to go in li- that to spend their life with. Um, but this old drunk here, she's trying to get in the way of it. Pretending to be like all love and she's really just an old drunk. And she's jealous of this younger, more beautiful, um, creative, inspiring, uh, determined, successful individual who this emperor, or soon-to-be emperor, has his eyes on. And this queen of cups, she can't stand it. I know it didn't come out in the reverse, but I'm really getting reverse energy with with her. She got mad about it when I was saying it. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that a Scorpio? You a Scorpio, Queen of Cups? Hmm. You old drunk. <laughs> As I'm talking about Scorpio, death comes out. That's hilarious. Changing old patterns or behavior. Changing the way you handle money. So definitely goes along with the rest of the reading. Um, the fact that this um, this guy or girl or whatever um, has realized that their player ways, their whorish ways, um, has done nothing but given them a broken heart and a a fiery crotch. <laughs> Four swords. Much needed time for self. Rest after hard work or burnout. Definitely, self care is the most important. You can't feel, uh, you can't pour from an empty cup. But you can't also sit there and be angry or hold a grudge against somebody who tried to warn you, and you can't be mad at them because you didn't listen. That's ridiculous. Somebody care about your ass and love you and try to give you the best advice they can. And then you go against their advice and then what they told you was going to happen happens. And then you want to be mad at them for it. It's time to grow up, buddy, which this person I think has realized that. They definitely are putting in a really good effort and changing. But, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Nine of Cups. Rewarding love, contentment, new job, position, or promotion. Strength. You are aligning now. Be patient. Strong position or sound adventure. So yeah, just be patient. Everything you want is coming. Like as long as you continue with this transformation and follow through and continue to get better tomorrow than you were today, you're going to get everything you've ever wanted. Just be patient. It's coming. I'm telling you, it is so easy to like, when you're into these messages, I cannot believe it's been 25 minutes. Mouse, be persistent and incisive and all obstacles will be overcome. You know, if you really want something, you just got to go for it. Harder it is to get it, the more you'll appreciate it when you get it. Bison. Recognize the riches of the past and the abundance of the present. Bat. 
You have the power to transcend failure and move into a limitless future. Water Buffalo, face life head on with courage and reclaim the brave spirit within you. Badger, abandon compromise and fight vigilantly for what you believe in. Butterfly, delight in life and embrace change as the source of your creativity. Crocodile, the alchemy of energy teaches that death will always yield new life. And Porcupine. You may defend yourself honorably without hurting those close to you. Black Panther. Sensuality and passion stir beneath a cloak of secrecy. Um, Ezekiel. Let's see. We'll do 16. No, we'll do 19. Right. Angel number 495 and Ezekiel 19, 11. And she had strong rods for the scepters of them that bear rule and her stature stature was exalted among the thick branches and she appeared in her height with the multitude of her branches is that not crazy queen of wands was the first card out there were like first five or six cards were wands and i pick a verse that talks about uh rods and uh scepters somebody out there is definitely really truly stepping into their power and they're on fire and they're going to go far. Believe in yourself and you'll be unstoppable. I love you guys. If you love me as much as I love you, please like, share, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.